welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a Slimming World Chili Con Carne so um, yeah I know one of those in ages and uh, you know last couple of days I've been fancying it so today I'm gonna go and do that and uh, that is gonna be today's video really so it's, it's just the chili today obviously it's, uh, it's quite cold so um, I think it's the perfect meal for me, so I'm going to go and crack on with it now, and I'll show you step by step. Right guys, so this is all the ingredients, so let's go through it all. So I have one pepper, obviously, I'm just going to use the remaining frozen peppers as well, to make space in the freezer. I'm not using all the onions, but I'm going to use some of the onions. I've got my garlic, I've got my measuring spoon, I've got the tomato puree, I've got the mince, Beef stock, watch is the sauce, chopped tomatoes, fry lye. I'm using baked beans because I don't like kidney beans. What we got here, so we got some, some ground chili flakes, uh, got some cumin ground, coriander ground, paprika, and obviously the mince is hiding underneath. So I'm gonna make a start on this chili. So guys, my plan is with this is obviously I don't need 400 grams. So what I'm going to do is um, I spoke to Gaz and I said to him, what I, uh, I asked what I should do. And he reckons do it all and dish out my side of what I'm having for dinner. And then he said, freeze the other half, which I thought was a good idea. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, like I said, I'm going to do that now. So uh, I'm going to freeze it. I think so that's what I'm doing obviously so guys the first step is to spray a large frying pan I think this is more well, I think mine's a large one it's, spray a, 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 it, a, it doesn't say large a deep frying pan with firelight that brand new firelight bottle as well There we go, I won't need to file out again. So just gonna let the pan heat up. Once it's heated, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook up the, the mince. I'm gonna cook it until it's browned and then I'm gonna transfer it into a bowl, put aside. And then obviously I'm gonna add in the onions as well. So we just gotta wait for that to heat up. Right guys, so now the pan is hot enough, so I'm just going to stick the mince. In the pan. So I'll that up. Let's move it there, guys. Let's hang it out. Mm. You get the idea on what to do, so I won't film it all. <laughs> So hey guys, it's the mince. Anyway, mince is coming along. So I'm gonna transfer that into another bowl, set it aside, so I can make a start on the onions. Right guys, so uh, re-spray the pan. I'm 
obviously the recipe says one and a half, and obviously I've, uh, it's already cut up. I do a bit. I do a fair bit of onions. I think that's enough onions. More than enough. So let's say to do this for five minutes. Not quite sure if I need to do it for five minutes. Um, add the onion and fry for five minutes. Add a little water if it starts to stick. Then it says add 300 ml of water, all the remaining ingredients. So that's going to be like everything apart from the coriander. So that's pretty much everything then. Okay, let's get it all ready, guys. Do that while uh, onions are cooking. Right, it's right. That's quite a lot, man. So guys, while I'm waiting for the onions to cook, I'm going to quickly slice up my pepper. It doesn't say about having pepper in it, but pepper is your speedy vegetable, so I thought, do you know what, I'm going to have pepper in it. So that's what I'm doing. I won't slice, I won't show you all of it, obviously, because you, you know, you know how peppers go, don't you, so... Right guys, so onions are now done, so next step is adding the 300ml of water. Like that. And all the rest of the ingredients. So, that'd be peppers. is going to be a bit of a paprika one TSP is what I'm using a bit of cumin it's one TSP of everything so Bit of 
Oh, this one's brand new, it's not even opened. Cinnamon. So one of those. To give it out of vinegar, give me a half a pot. Cheeky. Chili flakes, I've only bought the chili flakes today. I thought was good, forgot to get them yesterday. So one tablespoon of chili flakes. Here we go. I hope it's not too chilly, bloody hell. <laughs> not allowed spicy food, so. Um, what is the sauce? One tablespoon of that, so I've got to get the bigger spoon. Says three, it says three tablespoons of tomato puree. So, I think we're running out of puree. Have a one. God, I can smell that, 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 that smells spicy. That I do. next hold on bear with me bear with me um, oh we've got some garlic I'm lazy I've already bought it already chopped up because this is one thing I hate about garlic and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it as a uh, I'm gonna do that much of garlic Garlic done. Uh, and then I think it's going to be. It's going to be baked beans. struggle to get the beans out. I had to buy little cans of beans because it's only me. That will do. That's the beans. Next step, the chopped tomatoes. Beef stock. Nearly forgot the beef stock. Bit of stock, break it in. That's the beef stock, what else? I think that's it. And then we're gonna um, give it a good old stir, bring it to the boil. Tell you what guys, it does actually smell quite nice. So give that, we've give that a stir now, and uh, I don't think there's any room for mince. <laughs> might have to transfer to a saucepan, you know. So now it says, um, bring to a simmer. So once that starts simmering, and then I'll return the mince, boil for 20 minutes, and then stir in the coriander. And then, Pretty much it's done. And then I'll start cooking the rice in the veg. Guys, so it's bubbling away, so that's telling me it's ready for the mince. 
So let's just put the mints in. So I think I need a bigger frying pan. So, we turn them into the pan. Obviously, we, we want to coat the mince in, and then basically, what we're going to do, we're going gen to just gently boil this for 20 minutes. By the time you know that's done, the veg and the rice should be done as well. I've got the water on the boil already, as you can see over there. I've got that for the rice, that for the broccoli. Getting everything on the go. Do you know what? I could probably get three three meals out of this. I reckon. What do you reckon, guys? Three meals. So what I might do is I might do some for tomorrow, and I probably have it in a jacket potato. I think that's what I might do. I put it in the jacket and uh, with salad, and then I'll have it again another. You know, I don't know in a few weeks' time. So I'm going to leave that there now. So that's the chilli. Leave that for 20 minutes. I'm just going to quickly add in the good old rice. I keep my rice in a container because the bag, they always split and goes everywhere. So we're just going to have... That's enough rice for me. I'll give that a quick stirry stir. The rice, there we go. Right, that water was right now ready for the broccoli. So let's uh how much broccoli do I have left? Yeah, it should be alright. You know what? How long gonna use it all guys? Why not? So there's all the broccoli. So that's should be enough for me. Enough speed, one third of speed is very important. So, that's it guys. So now we just gotta let the, let the cooker do its job. Right guys, so, it's done. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to put in the coriander. So there it is. Sprinkle that on. I'm gonna give that a quick stir and that is good to go. The rice is done. The broccoli is just about done as well. So we're gonna get this, we're gonna get it going. Right, let me quickly just stir the coriander in. Like I said, you can tell this is done. Look at that, it, I'll tell you what guys, it does smell absolutely gorgeous. It's mad, when I was a kid I used to hate this. Do you know what, I absolutely love this lemon more than I just hope I haven't put too much spice in this. Obviously the surgeon said not to have spice. So, I mean I did put a lot of chilli flakes, only a, a teaspoon. I was going to do a tablespoon, so... Right, I think I'm going to dish up now, guys. Serve with your favourite veg, which obviously is broccoli and rice. And that's pretty much it. There you go, guys. Look at that. That looks really nice. I think so. I don't know what you guys think. So, obviously, I've got my one-third of speed, which obviously is the broccoli. Obviously, I've got my chilli con carne with my rice underneath. And... That looks amazing, and I'll tell you what, guys, you're not going to believe this. Look how much is left over. Look at that. I could probably easily get another three meals out of that, I reckon. Easily. Maybe two. Between two and three meals more. So I'm going to container them up. I'm going to let obviously take it off the off the ring, pull it on the side, leave it there to cool down. I'm going to cover it up, and uh, then once it goes cold, I will transfer it into it. Sorry, I'll transfer that into a container and and then um, I'll uh, have one tomorrow for lunch with a jacket and the other one I will freeze and have it in a few weeks. So guys, this is my Slimming World 
chili con carne and I'm going to eat it. Hi guys, so uh, had a bit of a kick to it, um, but it was nice. I ate most of it. Um, like I said, I did enjoy it. So obviously that is the Slimming World Chili Con Carne. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and come and catch me soon. See you later. Bye.